Look at that yellow. Welcome to my channel, it's your girl Sonia LD. Hope you're all keeping well in these crazy times. So for today, I'm just gonna have a play or I'll turn the camera on, let you guys play along. Oh God, no. <laughs> Could have gone really wrong there, but hey. I've picked up a random palette that I've had in my collection for a little bit now, and I've not got around to using. I think I do have all of them, not 100% sure. I do have quite a few of them. Haven't tried any of them, but I thought this would be a good one to play with today, just because. Don't know what kind of look I want to do today. Not 100% sure. I just want something really, really sexy. And I'm just, whatever that means. One of my favorite bases to use on my eyes is the P. Louise base. So I'm just going to go in with that all over my eyelid. So in this palette, you do get one half, which is shimmers. And then the other half, which is just mattes. And they are exactly the same shades on each side. No surprises. I will be starting with this deep, aubergine color here and with the morphe m149 i'll be mapping out my crease area the hooded ladies if you do this while looking down you're going to come into problems later so if you hold your mirror a little bit up like look up with your eyes and then map out your crease just above where your where your top eyelid is you'll see a lot more of that darker color when you actually blend it out later and cut your crease this really helps to maximize your lid space very nice that goes on very easily the next shade i'm going to use is this one here and i'm just going to use that to go over what i've just done but slightly overlapping the aubergine color as well that's a lovely color but i'm definitely having to go back into the palette a lot more than i was with the purple and the brush i'm using here is an E36. Next I'm going to go into this very vibrant, it's like a salmon-y pink colour. A lot of these shades are actually quite similar as well, like these, these two look very very similar in person as do these two as well. Just letting you guys know. And using an M506, I'm just gonna tickle the edges of what I've just done and help to blow everything out a little bit. So I'm just gonna repeat those colours again and just re-intensify and start to really shape this eye out. It should be a beautiful mess at this point and that's all right that's all right <laughs> we gonna get there so this bit here needs softening out obviously um for that i'm going to use one of these orangey shades um yum, 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 yum. this one yeah oh that's brighter than i thought it was gonna be okay oh well it's done now so how has everyone been? I've been getting a lot of DMs about my mental health. It's been absolutely lovely. Thank you guys for thinking of me in this time. I have been so-so. This time is very, very, very unusual for a lot of people. I think we're all going through very similar feelings and thoughts of uncertainty at the moment. So I don't know, I don't feel so isolated within what I'm going through right now. If that makes sense. This whole thing has definitely taken its toll on my mental health. I had to up my medication. I'm also taking something to help me sleep at the moment as well because I'm finding as soon as it gets to bedtime, I'm just sitting in bed and I'm just grinding my teeth and just really anxious. My mind just doesn't switch off right now. Not that it did before, but right now it's definitely 10 times worse. I always do feel a bit funny talking about my mental health in makeup videos. This side of, of what I do is, is definitely like a bit of a release for me and for other people. I don't mind talking about it, but I don't want to feel like I'm actually bringing anyone down. Do let me know if you mind me talking about this kind of stuff or if it helps at all because if it does help then I'd, I'd be more than happy to speak about it more but yeah in general I am kind of okay but yeah I don't think I'm actually going to do a cut crease I'm not really not feeling cut creasy today but what I'm going to do is probably like a bit of a messy halo sort of thing as that's my vibe right now go in with P. Louise base but this is number three if you are feeling like you're going through through some stuff right now definitely give your doctors a call I did an online consultation with my doctor and my GP actually ended up calling me and we had a bit of a chit chat about how everything's going and stuff that was really good I was able to sort everything out over the phone so don't feel like because everything's crazy right now that there's nothing that you can do because there is they were also able to refer me on to some other services as well definitely don't feel like you have to go through whatever you're going through right now alone because a lot of people are feeling it and there are resources out there sometimes the nhs can be a bit slow with things but just know that things can get done tip 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 i'm just gonna go in with that aubergine color just on the edges just to soften that out a little bit really been loving using small brushes lately i found i can get 
just yeah like I can get a lot more color on my lid now so if you do struggle and you don't have a lot of lid space definitely look into getting some really tiny pencil brushes to do your eyeshadow with for me it's really been a game changer so with another little baby brush I'm just gonna go in with let's try this red why not I really am just making this up as I go along I still don't know 100% what I'm doing <laughs> That's very red, okay. I'm gonna go back into that, to this deeper red, just to help that blend out a bit because that's looking a bit weird to my eye. There we go, that's a bit better. I'm gonna use that just on the inner corner as well a little bit and into the bright red as well, just to make it equal or symmetrical even. Uh -huh. This red really builds up lovely, so bright. Oh. Okay, how are we looking? So I think it's about time we go into the shimmers now. So, <laughs> so which, hmm, which ones are we going to? Okay, so let's go into this corresponding red and start blending this red out. Oh, that's going on okay. I don't think I've ever done a look like this before. I normally run away from reds, unless it's Christmas. So. <laughs> Okay, we're definitely getting somewhere. <laughs> These yellows look exactly the same side by side. <laughs> I'm going to take the one on the top just because it's on the top, why not? <laughs> yellows are always the, is it a good palette or not, like color. If this goes on nicely, then gets a full, full thumbs up from me. She is not bad at all. Where would we be without Makeup Revolution? And have you guys seen the XX Revolution stuff as well? I don't think I've ever been so excited for like a new brand to come out <laughs> since probably like Fenty Beauty. This is just like, oh, it's so exciting. I've been seeing everyone's pictures and swatches of everything. I don't think I'll be getting PR for that. I'm still gonna buy a few bits. Everything just looks so nice and luxurious. I'm really liking how these colors have gone. That is really just... So these are for £15. Definitely a bit pricey for Revolution, but I do think it's worth it. You do get quite a few shadows in here, so it's almost like you've got two palettes in one. I've not really been disappointed by anything that's gone on the eye so far. Look at that yellow. Hi. I feel like a, like a flame right now. Just lashes and liner on. Now time for skin. Really been loving illuminated skin, as you can tell from my glass skin review. If you've not seen that, make sure you watch that. So I'm gonna go in with the Eloise Get Glow Illuminating Drops. I had another shade of this and I really like how it looks under foundation. I've tried the 24 karat gold. This one is Champagne Glow. Not used this before. It might be a disaster as it's a little bit more lighter than the one I'm used to. We'll see, you can wipe it off if it doesn't work out. This is very thick stuff and it does smell quite sweet as well. I'm just gonna use my fingers to rub that in, okay. And I'm just gonna focus that on my high points. So forehead and cheekbones. Does look a bit weird right now with nothing else on, but fret not. Under foundation, this will be fine. I have a feeling that under foundation, this is gonna read a lot more natural glow on me than the other one. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Hydrating Pro Filter Foundation, one of my favorites. Squeeze a pump and a half of that using a Real Techniques brush. One of my favorite foundations because I just feel like it just looks like good skin and it has really nice coverage at the same time. So I'm gonna go in with my contour first today. Just feel like it. <laughs> and a product that I've been loving to do that is this Sample Beauty Erasing Boost. These are multifunctional bases, so you can use it as like an eyeshadow base, foundation, concealer, contour, and they come in these really handy pots as well. So they're very good for working MUAs and they come in a wide range of shades as well. It is an indie brand as well, and I believe they are vegan and cruelty free. Going back in with my foundation brush to help to blend that out. And I should be having a detailed highlight and contour video up, dedicated just to that very soon. So for concealer, I'm gonna use a mixture of my L'Oreal Infallible in Toffee and Fit Me Maybelline in the shade 40. Love both of these concealers, but this one's just a little bit too just a little bit on the lighter side, but I like it right here in my inner corner, just to brighten that area up. And a little bit there, boom, boom. And with the Fit Me, I just like to use this to do the rest. It's a lot lighter in consistency and it's a bit deeper in shade, so it blends better with the rest of my foundation, whereas the Infallible's a lot lighter in shade, 
but thicker in consistency. So this just gives me the highlight that I need right in the center of my face. So I do just like to go in with a little foundation brush and tap that out. Once I get to this stage, I like to go in with my squishy, my squishy, squishy cosmic brushes blender and just use the round side of that to start to just tap that out gently and taking off any excess product. Literally, it's the lightest touch. I can barely feel it on my face. I'm not uh, smushing it in. I'm just tapping lightly just to even everything out. I'll just go back in with my foundation brush just to go over any edges, anything I may have missed. My favorite powders, Huda Beauty Knafa. Knafa? Knafa? <laughs> I'm not sure how you say it. I just like to get a little bit of this ready and prepared on a brush. So just a small little powder a brush like this I'll just have that ready ready and waiting in one hand beauty sponge in the other hand and I'll just quickly tap out where any foundation and concealer may be collecting under my eyes and then go straight in afterwards with the powder so I'm thinking of doing a like dedicated how to do your makeup in your 30s kind of thing guys do let me know if that will be helpful to you at all don't see much content like that on YouTube at the moment but I know I know we're out there and I know that we're also watching as well so do let me know if you'd like that I'm just gonna run a little bit of the base under my lash line. The same M149 brush from earlier, I'm just gonna tap that onto my lash line first. I'm just gonna go into this orange here next, just to blend everything out now. So this is the Eloise, I think they're called Get Lit or Get Glowed or something. I'll definitely have it on the screen. And this shade is electric blue, so beautiful. And it matches the shade of my top, the color of my top even. Totally not intended. I'm just gonna push that on my tear duct area. This may not look good, babe. Eh? We're in now. What have I done? <laughs> I think I should go in with a brush actually instead of this. Ah, see that's going on a lot better now. I almost feel like I need some blue on the outside as well. Do it, am I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it, okay. Ooh, I'm digging that. Hey, so I just had a little idea. I thought, let me try it before. Try it without talking first. So yeah, I just think I'm just doing like a little graphic line of something, something on the outside, you know, just to bring everything together. That looks really nice and modern. Love that, I really, really love that. So I've just gone in, put some on the back of my hand and gone in with a Cosmic Brushes liner brush. These brushes are amazing. Look at this, ah, they've got like little gold flakes in them. I tell you, I'm just like a little child with these. I'm just sitting there just... <laughs> If you are trying something like this, definitely do it before you do your lashes as lashes just get in the way. And I must say that has really amplified everything. Ooh, I feel like a, a future kid now. <laughs> Keeping with the blue, I think I'm gonna put a little blue eyeliner on. Just gonna use Wonder 2 Essential Blue. I think this is, oh, sorry, Essential Royal Blue. And these, if you are looking for some really good colored eyeliners, these are the best that I've used. I do have pretty sensitive eyes and these just don't seem to be irritating to them at all. I'm gonna prime my lower lash with Essence Lash Primer. This actually could be quite a cool look with white lower lashes. <laughs> While that dries, I'm gonna just do my highlight along with that. Everything falling. With the Patricia Bright You Are Gold. Patricia Bright X Revolution. <laughs> you Are Gold palette. Is that the one? Yeah, You Are Gold. And I'm just gonna dust the bronzer contour shade over my cheekbones. And five head. <laughs> And this really just gives you that look, you know? You know, just that look, like, <laughs> Patricia did it. I just look like I've stepped off a beach, skin-wise. Ignore the eyeshadow. Skin-wise, this is, I have just stepped off a beach, like. Uh, and I'll bring that down on my body a bit because my face is looking extremely, <laughs> extremely dead. <laughs> Now I'm sun-kissed. may have put too much bronzer on, but I am a bronzer addict. So like <laughs> I've always loved this kind of look. For a highlight, I'm gonna go in with this palette from Gerard Cosmetics. I think I'm gonna use the shade, I believe this is Lucy, deeper shade here. This whole palette is beautiful. If you see this, pick it up, it's so nice. These two are definitely my most used shades. And as per usual, I just like to use the same shades on my brow bone as well, just to bring everything in unison, in unison. 
blend it and you know it's bridge because because that's what we do here okay. lower lash line i'm just going to go over that with the essence princess mascara let's go and this for me is probably one of the best inexpensive mascaras out there at the moment so i'm going to go in with this ombre blush from rude cosmetics i'm just going to dust that on ever so lightly on my cheek apples mm, it's such a nice orangey shade which i really love in the summer kind of just goes with that whole bronzy tans look i'm just gonna put on some stones these are from poundland not the best you can get <laughs> it's not swarovski but it does the job kia yeah there do i like there i think i like that on the inside here as well Ooh. oh that's pretty I am her. Yes. For lips, I'm going to go in with a combination of Obsession Liner from MUA Cosmetics and Revolution Lip Vinyl in the shade Chauffeur. Hopefully this is a good combination. I have faith in it. <laughs> yes, I like it already. These are super duper duper thick and really pigmented colours as well. I like to use my finger to blend the gloss in with the liner. You can use a brush, but I don't like having lots of things to clean at the end of the day. <laughs> it is one of those that gets on your teeth a lot though. This is a really lovely combination, but it does get on your teeth a lot. So if you are wearing this out post quarantine, make sure you've got some good friends with you. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the Pro Fix from Makeup Revolution. So here we have the finished look guys. I'm absolutely loving it. I love how this eye turned out and I'm really liking this little addition of kind of a graphic liner with everything. And I think these colors look really nice together as well. This lip combo is, mm, yes, you will be seeing this quite a few times as I think this might be a go-to lip for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and hanging out with me today. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also hit the like button. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you guys next time time.